first show today, we're going to see if Oscar, our youngest sea lion and only boy, would like to come out and join in uh, with this show for you. Are you ready to meet Oscar? So let's see if Oscar is ready to come in. Hello, buddy! <laughs> Oscar is four years old. He had his birthday about a month ago. He's not even fully grown yet. He weighs just over a hundred kilos. When he's fully grown, he could weigh somewhere between two and three hundred kilos. So you can get this big. Thank you very much, Oscar. <laughs> so, I think we're going to start off our show today by showing you a little bit about Oscar's early life. He was born down at Whipstate Safari Park. He came up here when he was about 18 months old, and his training would have started when he was down at Whipstate. Uh, it would have started when his mum weaned him off. Her milk. So when he starts to need solid food in the wild, that would be learning to hunt. For Oscar, that meant learning to build a relationship with us, start to trust us. And that would have happened in the water, where we feel safe and comfortable. That's where we want to start our training, so we can let him know that we don't mean him any harm. We're going to start out where he feels safe, in the water. So, luckily for us, sea lions are very curious animals, aren't they? Uh -huh. He wants to find out about the world, and the way he'll do that is just like most animals. We're the strange ones with our thumbs that want to reach out and grab stuff. Most animals use their mouths. They want to bite, chew, see if the world's edible or not. So we're going to let him do that. We're going to offer him something to investigate in the form of our big yellow target. All we'd like to see from him is a little bit of inquisitiveness, a little bit of investigation. Well done. Very brave. We're just letting him know that investigating our target is a perfectly nice, fine, good job, a normal thing. So as he gets more confident around us, we can start to build up this relationship. Not I'm just asking to touch, but to start to follow that target around. Good job, Oscar. He's going to learn as well at this point that he can take it or leave it. If he wants to ignore us, you can, can't you? But you can see he's grown in confidence a little bit. He's wanting to come out on stage with us. And Oscar is always in charge of our training. So if he doesn't want to join in with us, he's just going to head off and swim and ignore us. There's nothing we can do, and we're not going to do anything negative to him. So we spend our days telling Oscar that he's doing a fantastic job, don't we? And giving you lots and lots of encouragement. Now, this is still a really long target stick to be carrying your right? but as we get more and more comfortable with each other, we can use shorter and shorter targets, and eventually, get rid of them entirely. And of course Oscar's in charge of this as well. As long as his whiskers look relaxed, his eyes look relaxed, we're going to, get to keep getting a little bit closer. As soon as his body language tells us that he's not comfortable, we're going to give him that space back. But eventually, we're pretty comfortable with each other. So, I think we'll see if Oscar would like to show you why we're doing all of this training with him. Of course, following targets around is pretty handy if you wanted to ask him to move from one pool to another, but it doesn't really take that many uh, grey matter to do it. And Oscar is pretty smart, aren't you? He's a pretty smart little boy. Uh, so we want to give him lots of things to think about and do during this day. And while we're training him, little things to do with problems to solve, he can start to help out with his care. So we can just ask Oscar if we need to have a look at you for first. Show you this one already. We can just ask it. We can ask him to let us look inside your mouth. Ah, uh, good job, well done. And of course, if he does ever have any problems, our vets will come out and work 
in his enclosure. Again, where he feels safe, they'll bring along any equipment they need and any expensive equipment that we're not allowed to borrow and play with. He's trashy or push it in a pool. Uh, we may pretend to burn some songs. So Oscar has his very own x-ray machine, his very own ultrasound machine, so he can get comfortable with any equipment that he might need to use for the future. Because he could live almost twice as long as a wild sea lion. In the wild, it might only reach their mid-teens. Oscar could live into his 30s. So we need to be able to give him the best care possible. And the start of all of that at his young age, is like any training, just to relax, be comfortable around those, any equipment you might need to eventually use, any veggie teams, and of course, for him to understand that if he doesn't want to join in, or doesn't want to be part of that session, he can of course just leave, head off, do his own thing. Jump off stuff. Well done. If Oscar does get something wrong. Oh. It's a little bit of a shame. But we're not going to fall out with it. The first thing we would do is give him a second chance. It's very distracting in here. There's lots of people to watch, lots of new sights and smells. So we'd give him a second chance, but we would keep asking for the same thing again and again. That'd get really boring. We just move on to something easy that he's got a high chance of getting right. So a little mouth check. Ah, uh, really easy, and we're back to being able to get him, and a little bit of encouragement. And then we know we need to go away and have a little think about what he isn't understanding. We need to be a little bit clearer, or a little bit more interesting, so that Oscar is enjoying what he's doing. So, big and pink, I'm sure you've all spotted it, and we know what to do if he gets it right. We're going to give him a big cheer. Ready, Oscar? Ready, go. He might have only needed one or two pushes to achieve that height. And he does weigh over a hundred kilos now. The reason that sea lions front flippers are so strong is because that's the pair that he uses when he's swimming. He pulls himself through the water in a different way to how our seals move. So around Scotland, we have seals. We don't have sea lions. Seals can't sit up like this. If you see your bucket bud, thank you. <laughs> if we saw some of our local seals that you get around Scotland, they would be sitting up like this. They'd be flat on the floor. And when they move through the water, they use their back flippers, they use their core muscles, their bellies, and lower backs. And they do a similar thing on land. So they kind of wiggle themselves around. <laughs> Very nice little seal of pressure. Um, most of the time when you're watching seals and sea lions out in the water, it's really hard to see their flippers and to see how they're swimming. So, if Oscar can get a little bit closer, you might be able to maintain his cute little ears. They're very small. But they're very adorable. Seals, ears, they're all inside. So, they just have a little hole on the side of their heads. Can you show up your ears this side? This is you guys as well. Hole. Right, well done. Thank you very much, Oscar. Right, well done, Oscar. But of course, when it comes 
time to go hunting for a fish again, they do need to be pretty good at diving. So I hope you want to give me a hand, we'll help on scan. So we're going to have a little countdown. So we're going to count backwards from three, and then to the top. You ready? All together in three, two, Done you, Mel. Very nice time. Good job. Well, you better ask Oscar if he wants to head up his tower one more time. So, who are you? Thank you very much.